on now. Come on now. Come on. Work it with that beat. You don't know nothing about that, about that high hat. Go huh? on with it. You don't know nothing about that high hat. <laughs> Listen, I love that beat. What are you talking about? Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, Mark Edwards along with my trusty co-anchor here, a co-worker, a co- co-host. The one that keeps everything in line. That's it. KV, <laughs> Black Girls Rock Earrings. Uh, KV is, with in it. It. Yes. is in there with us. Uh, and by the way, I know I say this every week mm-hmm. when I tell you I, we have a special guest. But, it, but it's always true, though. Seriously, it's always true. It is. It's always true. Today, no different mm-hmm. because it is my girl. If you watch THV 11, you see her in the afternoons, yeah. evenings. It's Marlisa Goldsmith. Yeah. She is she is pre- she is pretty <laughs> she is pretty black girls rock on TV. Yes. Uh, but we'll get in your and that's grill. That's the melanin <laughs> magic. <laughs> yes. Out, Come if on. you step out of line, <laughs> she has no problem putting you back in line. I love it. So and that her, means I got help today. Yeah. yeah and, I and, love and, it. And her husband's a frat brother, so you know I'd be I'd be in there. <laughs> If mm. I have to, mm. you know, somebody uh-huh. stepping out of line. Uh-huh. Uh, welcome to the show, Marlisa. Thank you so well, much. Appreciate you being here. Uh, be here. So you're back in Little Rock. So yes. what people don't know is uh, ooh, a long time ago when I was at THV, you were there with us. You were a mm-hmm. reporter. And so that's how we met. Right. Mm-hmm. You leave, you go to Pittsburgh. Yes. So we're going to get into all that here in a minute. But first, tell us about you. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Well, I'm surprised you haven't already said Oh, this. you already know I'm going to say it. <laughs> uh, come on now. Prince uh, Prince George County. Come yes. on now. Oh, uh-huh. Maryland. I'm a Prince George's County native. Mm-hmm. Okay. PG County, Maryland. Mm. Born and raised. Mm. Mm. The DMV. The DMV. <laughs> That's it. I love it. Okay, so I was born and raised in Prince George's County, Maryland. I uh, went to school at St. Edwards University in Austin, Texas. And from there, I started my career in Abilene, Texas. Small town. <laughs> <laughs> it was small. Le- it's so right. small. <clears throat> Learned a lot of lessons there. Uh, then I moved on to Little Rock. That's where we met. I uh, spent a few years here reporting and then got an opportunity to go to Pittsburgh to become mm-hmm. the weekend evening anchor and reporter there. Um, and then last year, moved back here when the opportunity opened up to join the evening team as one of the main anchors. So seize the opportunity. Uh, and, and here's the thing. Everybody in the family has got the M name. Yes. Mm. Maryland. Uh-huh. Not just the city, not just uh, not just the state. So now when Mar- people Maryland, were listening, Maryland's the mom. So when, when they I were listening it. to the to the promo, they were uh, like, "Maryland, her mama name yeah. is Marilyn. Who is he talking about?" See, I did a promo. Now we, right, I yeah, did a promo. I said did. I can't tell you who some of the season two guests are, but right. I can tell you one of mama named name Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, he did. He was like, and when she hears, she's gonna be like, mm mm mm. Lord have mercy. Yes, Marilyn. My dad's name was Milton. My brother's wow. name is Matthew. Mm. Marlisa. Okay. All all M's. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's cool. We do K's on our side, so <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, I Nothing like that. that. My nickname for her is the Gold Standard because she told us that when she first got there. Did I? Yeah, you was like. See, uh, he, uh, see the here's the standard. thing. He likes to make up a lot of stories mm. and will have you thinking you you said it. it did, did, did that <laughs> makes it believable. Uh huh. Is that what we were talking about a few minutes ago? <laughs> 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 we were talking about a few minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I did. may have said it. I've said a lot of I things. I I said it, too. So I would like to know, then, what does that mean, then? The gold standard. The gold standard. Let's talk about it. Uh, because everything she do is uh, A1. Hey. A1, top hey. of the line. Hey. That's it. Love That's it. it. So, so you're back. So how's it being back? It's so nice. Pittsburgh um, was was, cold. In, was very cold. It was mm-hmm. a rough city mm-hmm. on is our it? bones. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about getting old. It was a rough city to navigate. I felt that. I mean, the East Coast in general can be a lot tougher than you don't have the Southern hospitality here. Mm -hmm. I mean, day one, people had open arms. You'd meet somebody at church. You have anything to do for dinner tonight? (laughs) Come on over. over. You don't know me from a can of paint. But there, oh, it was very no new friends. So it took us a while to kind of find. Pittsburgh like that? Yes. That was back when they had the black and yellow, black and Uh yellow. I thought it was the good times. Well, Wiz Khalifa is gone. (laughs) I didn't know that. He's he not gone. there. Yes, he gone. <laughs> he dropped a hit and moved. Out of there. Uh huh. Gotcha. West Coast. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So, um, but it was a cool city, nice city to be in. Um, but here it was just like, even though this isn't my home, mm-hmm. it felt like home. Coming back to some familiarity, people who are so nice, kind, loving. Um, so I like that. And for people who don't know, because when I lived in Los Angeles, I can tell you, I remember going into Ralph's which we got Kroger here, but they mm-hmm. had Ralph's up there. Mm-hmm. I remember going to Ralph's and you would open the door because my mom was real about hospitality. Mm-hmm. So you open the door for women. 
And this lady was walking behind me. She said, uh-uh, I don't know you. Wow. <laughs> I believe it. I walked in in front of her. I, okay. I've never done that before. I was, ma'am, I'm from the South, but carry on. Right. right. Mm-hmm. But that's how they do it. So, mm-hmm. so they're doing it up there in the East Coast, too. Yeah. I had no idea. Pittsburgh. Oh, just cutthroat. Cutthroat. So how now, was working on the air up there, though? Mm-hmm. That was a great opportunity. Um, the amount of love that I had from people in the community there was amazing i mean so appreciative that people just embraced me i think it helps that i'm a person that likes to be out in the community and i get involved so people get to see me outside of you know the hours of the job this marlisa just uh-uh. that marlisa <laughs> that one so it's nice i mean in that aspect it was good but as for you know forming true relationships and mm-hmm. friendships yeah. and it was it was hard to get into people's circles yeah mm-hmm. it's hard I but i think it's harder as you age and get older anyway because right. you know you're not meeting people at school or in classes mm-hmm. or in sports activities yeah. anymore everyone has their own little thing going mm-hmm. on so it is it's harder what do you do for fun in pittsburgh i, 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 I thought with, with the games the pittsburgh now, steelers uh-huh the pirates. There, there were yeah. a lot of things to do um because i worked weekends i didn't always get to go to the steelers games because most of them were on sundays mm-hmm. but my husband had a good friend that played on the team he grew up in pine bluff and so uh he went to a lot of games i didn't because i was working, working. but <laughs> it's so many things to do um you know the strip district area there they have the pirate games hockey i got mm-hmm. into hockey because when I first Dude, moved nice. there, they had the Stanley Cup going on, and we had made it to the Stanley Cup two years in a row. My first Sid two the years there, Sid the Key. Nice. Sidney yeah. Crosby. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm not saying I had anything to do with it, but <laughs> Marlisa happens to move. Well, you Marlisa. all happen to win the Stanley Cup. I, mm-hmm. I think I'm owed a few coins. I like that. Mm-hmm. See, see, yeah. You see that yeah. Marlisa come out right there? <laughs> Run me my money. money. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. So you get the opportunity to come back yeah. and you come back here. First thoughts, you get back, things did, things a little different. A little bit, but because I had worked there before, I kind of just got in right where I left. Yeah. Got in where I fit mm-hmm. in, comfortable, new for the anchor team. You know, I know all of these people, um, had known them since 2013. The reporting team I had to learn because they're newer, but um, kind of got right back in the groove of things. You know, you know people here, people were excited to find out I was coming yeah, back, the yeah. community. Mm-hmm. So that was really exciting. Um, so it wasn't too hard to kind of adjust and jump back mm-hmm. into where I left off. Okay, so here's the thing, so of course, the president has said that the media is the enemy of the people. Hmm. So television has changed. Mm-hmm. And, and and so how is it different now as opposed, in your eyes, as opposed to before? Because I, I tell people all the time, like, news people don't sit in meetings sit, sitting how, trying to figure out how we can twist things. Right. Like, that's not what we do. Mm-hmm. We sit in a meeting, and they'll talk about what's going on, they talk about different angles, but nobody talks about how to twist things. I, I try to tell people that, and people don't understand that. Right. I mean, it's so not Mm. like that not at all i mean we're real people just like the people Mm. at home that are watching us and so we kind of sit and talk about what people in the community are talking about because we have to stay so in tune with the community and talk to people and find out what's important to them now i will say how it's changed um respect wise Back in the day, you really respected journalists. You'd see a journalist walking down the street, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, my gosh, mm-hmm. it's so-and-so. Now people are like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> who? Marlisa who? <laughs> I don't even watch. I don't know who she is. Yeah, and it's not true. it's not about mm-hmm. that, but just the respect of journalism kind mm-hmm. of has changed, and people are constantly questioning us. But it's our job to question and press for answers. So, mm-hmm. you know, I don't mind people questioning facts and where we get information from because right. if we don't know, then it is a problem. But, it, but the problem comes in when, when people treat you differently and they say, ooh, you're from the media, ooh, you're fake news. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. If you, when you get those, right. yeah. that's, that's what you hate. Well, and that's part of too mm-hmm. because they think they're the journalists now. Oh yes, these right here. Yeah, they think they are <laughs> the journalists and they know the more game. than you. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you got a camera with a mm-hmm. microphone mm-hmm. on it. Video. They can go do exactly what we can do, mm-hmm. and a lot of times push it out faster than us. So that mm-hmm. is changing the industry so yeah. much. Right. Yeah. How do you keep up with that though? Mm-hmm. I think Tegna, the company that owns THV Eleven, they've been very um, proactive mm-hmm. and ahead of the game with trying to be innovative mm-hmm. and you know being the 
shifters in the industry and working on things that no one else is doing. Right. So sometimes, because a lot of people don't like change, it's a little jarring when you're like, whoa, okay, they're changing it up, they're doing something different, but right. then you start seeing other people follow uh -huh. behind. Uh -huh. And so I do appreciate that, that we're the innovators and we're the ones trying things before anybody else is. It might not work, and it might be a hit, it might be a success. So I appreciate that. But we have to keep up. If you don't, you'll be left behind. Do any of you guys do podcasts? Just out of curiosity. No, we haven't. None of us at the station, but a lot of people have uh, spoken to people who do podcasts. Mm -hmm. But it is something in other markets mm -hmm. that Tegna is doing. Uh, in Little Rock, we haven't started it yet, though. With podcasts? Mm -hmm. yeah. But other other markets. I went to a summit last year, a mm -hmm. Tegna summit at our headquarters in D.C., and there are people that have pitched ideas to have podcasts. Mm -hmm. There are people that do podcasts in long-form journalism yeah, through audio. Because yeah. it allows you – because you can't really see – you know, I, I have a minute and 15 seconds to tell you the story. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas – with a podcast, I can sit Get down. Get an hour. Can't really, right. right. Yeah, Don't yeah. Right. Right. I mean, it's, it I can break the like such down. a different mm -hmm. you know, animal. And part of the reason bringing you on here today is because people see you in a news setting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if people want to know, you know, does she cook? Is she, is she who like, is she? You know, she who is she? Is she still okay. the same well, girl? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> that type of stuff. So, you know. So, I can cook. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. You need to follow me on Instagram. Uh oh. You can cook or I, you I can. can cook. I can get down. Uh oh. And but she can you put get down that like Marilyn. Period on you. Period. <laughs> oh, just like that. Yeah. I like it. I can get now. Hmm. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <is. laughs> Look. My mom has asked me a few times, send me that, show me how to do with that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, growing up, a lot of people can relate. In the kitchen, my mom was not much of a Come on, we don't have time for that. Right. You need to move out the way because I got to get this gotta dinner get ready. Done. We got to get mm -hmm. over to here. We got to get there. Right. So I did a lot of watching mm -hmm. as a child. Right. I didn't do a lot of cooking yeah. growing up. So once I moved out of the house, mm -hmm. that's when I started figuring things out so, for myself. So it ain't just ramen noodles and. Mm -mm. You know, it's too much sodium in that. We're trying to do better in 2020. <laughs> I got you. I, I, hey. We're trying to do better in 2020. <laughs> I'm loving this, y'all. Uh, I get to sit back. I'm loving it today. <laughs> I, I'm just telling you. I, I know. Oh, know. and I like that we have so we have your Instagram yeah. page up. So not only do, do we get to see the beautiful pictures, but yeah, well, we're, we're searching usually, for the food it's now. It's on my stories. Oh, oh. and I didn't. Story. Yeah, okay. 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 No stories today. Okay, no. all right. Yeah. I'm not seeing any of the food. No. Yeah. Yeah, so you've been cooking for a while. Yeah. <laughs> she likes selfies though. We see that. Oh, yeah. always. So like we the we have yeah yeah. The selfies were always on there. <laughs> um, Don't okay. do that. So well, they. I mean, the selfies were on there. So I, I don't even want to bring up the person we were talking about a few minutes ago. Right. Um, so okay. So so people want to know that. People want to know you. You know, mm -hmm. you're cooking. People want to know what what you do that's fun. What, what do you do outside of? I like television. Cooking. It's not my favorite thing to do, just because it's so time consuming. I don't make a five minute meal. So you know, you got the all, all the things that you need to prepare and season and saute and let marinate. So I don't. Yeah, I just take mine out right. the bag, See, stick it in the skillet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, <all right. laughs> so it's time consuming and I'm I'm a busy person. I mean, I go to the movies, I love comedy shows, I love anything outdoors, I like hiking. Wow. Now that's a Pittsburgh thing. Yeah. That's gotta okay. be an East Coast thing. Is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not hiking. I'm not, I'm not going to A stay. lot of people here are outdoors. This is the natural state. You're going to Pinnacle Mark? Wait a minute. Wait. I was going to say there is Pinnacle Mark. Yeah. Wait, wait. So you get in the, the, tea, the tea and all like the like the scouts do? You get in the no. stay the night outside of the no. nature? You. <laughs> Although my husband one year took me out to, is it Lake Catherine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Took me out there and we got a yurt. Have you heard of what that? What is a yurt? No, I was going to say, what is that? I have not heard of that. What is that? Basically, it it's, sound fun. it's camping for bougie people. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you can hang. What you is, can do it. What is camping for bougie break people? Break it down. Break what it down. So that? instead of the old school tent with the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, right. it's like a circular structure with a roof on it. Inside, you have your bathroom. You oh, have no, man. your bed. No. You have any amenities or refrigerator. Mm -mm, it is the same because we were out in the woods, and I was like, it may be bears out here. It's dogs on the loose. You don't know. <laughs> see, that's no different bear. from my camping experience growing no up. Bear. But it was, we were in Buckville, Arkansas, getting it in. So here's a yurt so, over here. Yes. 
Look, look at how old that is. That's what it is. So that's first, what it is. first of all, that's not that's not camping out there. That is <laughs> that, that is. You can open the side canopy for you to sleep under. You got your own canopy to sleep under. Listen, if you got a back door and a front door and them things got kitchens in them and bathrooms, come on now. That's that is. No, it's camp. Give it a try before you judge. Give it a try. Give it a try. <laughs> Just the name alone. Seems what did you call it? Yuri. It's a yurt. 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 Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's pretty bougie. <laughs> <laughs> you got candles on. Now the look. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you said Yuri. Oh yeah. You got the Yuri candle. Candles. The Yuri yeah, candles right. on okay. the brain, but yurt. this is a yurt. Yeah. yeah. I got it. Oh. No, th that was a fancier one. So don't judge here. I I'm feeling real <laughs> judged. I'm feeling it's attacked fancy because there's a bathroom in it. <laughs> well, yes. No, you need but, to be able but to get it's in optional. Yeah. If you want to get in the nature and risk getting poison ivy, <laughs> then feel <laughs> free to go urinate outdoors. <laughs> How you gonna get poison ivy? I ain't never been poison ivy. I you know. haven't been camping either. Yeah, one I time. Know, I, I go out there. Man. I'll stay out a while mm -mm. till the mosquitoes bite. See, I did tell that you one time. Boy Scout. I came home at mm -mm. four thirty in the morning. A mosquito bit me on the lip, and like the top part of my lip was like it didn't touch. You know why I bit you? Because you were out at four thirty in the morning. Yeah, I was out at four thirty right. in the morning. Right. Yeah, mosquitoes. What's open at four thirty? Uh oh. Well, I wasn't out uh -oh. at the store. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Hello. Who? First of all, I wasn't out at looking for you anything in particular. Uh -huh. No, hmm. I was out. <laughs> Uh, Don't even ride try. Out four wheeler. Go on and try it. Your four wheeler. So yes. you do the four wheeler, but you want to do the yurt. No, I ain't doing the yurt, man. <laughs> Listen, if I'm gonna be outdoors, give me a tent and let me rough it. That's what you say now, but I have a feeling you wouldn't even make it 24 hours. <laughs> I probably wouldn't, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, if I'm going to be out there, I want to be one with nature. You Sounds can. Good. That's, that's the thing. You can open the sides if you want to be one with nature, and it's optional to close it. So, like, you're on a, a resort? No. You don't even, it, you don't even have not, bears walking around. We were in like. the middle of the woods in Hot Springs. So, he set it up in the middle of the woods, or is it already set up? It's already set, set up. up. So, wait a minute. This tent got plumbing? Come on now. <laughs> Come on, the tent got. Does it have central heating and air too? I mean, we really want to. get You opening the sides. That is your air. You can still get the fresh air. Right. Be one with nature, and then when you're done, and yeah. say that didn't sound right, you uh -huh. close it back up. Exactly. Or hey, here's an option. Yeah. You can always take your old school tent mm -hmm. and post up outside of you the go. yurt. Gotcha. And gotcha. then once you're ready to give up, you can go inside the earth. <laughs> something, something about that doesn't seem uh, very nature-esque with me. But oh, I'll try it. She's I a nature try. girl. Yeah, yeah I'll try. We're going to stick with that. She okay. said what she said. I got you. So Period. You, you like getting out, you, 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 you hiking? Yeah, what I else? like biking. Um, I like doing a lot of things. Painting. My husband paints. I'm not good, but I enjoy mm -hmm. the art of painting. So you just okay. get out there and, and do my thing. Right. Right, right. Maybe no one wants it, or they may not want to purchase <laughs> it, but it's not about them. Right, right, right. So when you ride the bike, do you wear the helmet? Because I, I no. guess I debate. You don't wear the helmet? I mean, safety first, <laughs> children. <laughs> safety first. <laughs> but I don't know. I know. I've never ridden the bike I don't think with the helmet. I have a helmet. I have it. Yeah. yeah. I don't have a helmet. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But we should. We should. We certainly should have it's, a helmet. It's part of the safety program. And kids, if you're watching, you should make sure <laughs> right. to wear Don't your worry about helmets. Your hair. Just even when on. you're on uh, <laughs> your four wheeler. But me, okay. When I was doing it, you know, mm -hmm. hey, look, I was I got to look good while I'm riding the bike. <sighs> so I don't mess the hair up. I have this all the time, <laughs> but I, I have a feeling you understand mm -hmm. what I go through. I'm fresh here. fade <laughs> part. Yeah, I can't, I can't mess that the up. The helmet was going to mess up the fresh fade. Yes, because you won't be able to see it. Wow. And I want you to be able to see it when I'm riding by. That's wow. the thing. And see, that mark was out riding around at 430 in the morning. And that's why the mosquito bit you on the lip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is correct. I, I like that. So that uh, uh, are you, were you getting ready to go? Another way? No, I was oh, just going okay. to let you go in. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I like to ask when guests come. We kind of play like a this or that Ooh, game, okay. You know, um, sometimes I – and I might even ask you later, like, what's on your playlist? Because we like to know, mm -hmm. you know, what, what tunes you have on in the morning. Are you a, you know, trap music person in the morning, but then you <laughs> fade on down into the classics yeah. or something? We don't know. But we'll find that out here real soon. <laughs> but um, um, this or that, you know, are we doing uh, churches or are we doing Popeyes? Popeyes. Mm. Popeyes. Do they have churches? Do they have churches Up on the East Coast? Right. I think 
there may have been a couple in DC, but uh, but you down with the Popeyes, Popeyes. chicken sandwich over chicken Chick Fil A? Give me three wing combo. Wow. So you don't eat the chicken sandwich? I do occasionally, but I'm a wing girl. It wasn't all that though. Man, yeah. listen. I just I didn't get the. Say that again. <laughs> I, wait a minute! He, did he just call for me across two tables? Yes, I think he and did. one, two, three, chicken four sandwich? microphones. You don't eat the Popeyes chicken sandwich. I had it once, and I'm sorry. I was not impressed. Sorry. KV, sorry. Come on now, KV. Come on now. And my granddad used to make crisper pickles on the farm, so you know it is what it is. First of all, oh Popeye, those ain't pickles. Those are cucumbers. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> those are cucumbers. I mean, I ain't never seen a pickle that thick. Is it? So just, those are cucumbers. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm just saying. I, I just uh, mm, okay. All right, all right. So uh, Popeyes, when one mean. has to go, is it going hey. to be apple pie, mm. pecan pie, mm. sweet potato pie, mm. or pumpkin pie? Well, this is gonna tell us where you're from <laughs> right here. Mm. I'm gonna say pumpkin pie has to go. Okay. I ain't never had pumpkin pie. No, we have. I don't even know what it tastes like. No, we have not. <laughs> never. <laughs> now, about the pea pie, mm-hmm. I call it pecan, and I get a lot of grief Hi. for that. Do pecan. You? Is that an pecan. East Coast thing? Yeah. Maybe. It, what, what, where, where does pecan come from? <laughs> See, because when I hear pecan, I'm thinking uh, pea can be over here, or pea can be oh, over there. Okay. So you know what? <laughs> you know what? You, it's always right. you. Just, but no, but that is the thing because I know if you said that here, we'd be like, "Where are you from?" Yeah, PK. Where are you from? Uh, You're not from no. here. My mother-in-law gets me all the time about it. So you haven't tried to say pecan? <laughs> She's trying. I'm making fun of somebody. Wow. Oh, so Whoa. oh, so oh, Whoa. so you oh, so Whoa. you brought the yurt with Whoa. it. So you did <laughs> you think <laughs> you think people who say pecan we we need to be bougier and say pecan? No. Oh, it's a oh. regional thing. Oh, okay. However, I just never knew what a pecan was. <laughs> pecan. I, you know what? That felt a little sarcastic. It, it did, a but that's okay. Sting. That's that's a all sarcastic. what she said. A pecan. I don't even know how you spell <laughs> pecan. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and we both just said like, hmm, however, it is P E C A N. So yeah. So you don't like me? Uh, I bought tomato, good. tomato. Yeah. Tomato. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do this. Do I need to pull up the dictionary well, I'm just and saying, listen if to you it? Gonna say, I say pecan. <laughs> I didn't know that I was saying pecan. Pecan. What pecan can a pea pie. do? Pecan pie. Because see, pecan when I think of a pea, you say pecan. But you're thinking of a P-E-A. Right. Mm-hmm. Pecan. It's, that's how it's pronounced. And it's not spelled P-E-A. Right. Mm. So it's pecan. 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 Pecan would probably be spelled P U H uh, to give it the P. Uh, so now we getting a lesson from Prince George she, County. I'm oh, not even trying to do this. That's where it is. That's where it comes in. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> so do news. Okay, so let's go back to the news mm-hmm. aspect of it. So as, as a news person, one of the things I always watch sports people. Uh, I I watch different sports people. So I can't watch some people do sports. I have to watch certain people. Are you mm-hmm. one of those that? That has it has to be your way. Uh, or can you watch just anybody? I can watch anybody. I I can't because I I just ain't with it. No, I think there's a difference in watching other people and taking a liking to how they do things. But I can watch anybody. No, I can't even watch anybody. Mm. Uh, it's some people. I'm, I'm this is no joke. I, but I've always been like that. I mean, if you're doing sports. And I watch you, certain people, I just don't really get into mm-hmm. how you do things or how you deliver things. Well, it's even kind of like in, in radio, because Mark and I go back in, in radio, mm-hmm. and it's some that I can listen to today, and it's like, oh, it just cringes yeah. my ears. I'm like, yeah. we couldn't talk like that. We couldn't yeah. be as lackadaisical as right. that. You had to have a certain structure. And what did he say? Yeah. I didn't even understand what he said. Right. You know? Yeah, so it's kind of hard to. Yeah, so, I, so I can't just watch anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people, I just be like, so she must be cheap. So okay. <laughs> so they must not be paying her much. <laughs> How uh, do you get he, that out of that? Because, because some people, I mean, if you've been in the business, you've been in radio, you can listen to radio and you can hear some people and you can go, wow, there's mm. not much structure to what mm-hmm, he's saying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's not much. There's not much there. Mm-hmm. You know, he just says the same thing. Mm-hmm. I love my boy Stack. I, you know, I talk about him all the time. Mm-hmm. But he he's my guy, so mm-hmm. we can talk about him. So some things he says, I go, why do you keep saying that? Yeah. yeah, why do you say it like that? But 
that's because I, I train stack right, right. and I brought him up. Right. And so mm-hmm. I can do him like that. But it's not a bad thing. But sometimes some things he'll say and I'll go, ah, man, stack, don't do it like that. Just mm-hmm, say it mm-hmm, like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so when it comes to watching television and, and sports, some anchors, the way they do things, the way they say things, mm-hmm. the way their look, their whole appeal. Because to me, it was always a package. I think when I was on air, I was the first person in Little Rock that had the mustache and the goatee. No one mm-hmm. had it. Mark Raines let me do it because it was it it went with the style and the right. way I mm-hmm. delivered right. sports. Mm-hmm. Right. And because of the way I delivered sports, and I would watch other people. Mm-hmm. So there were some things that I could do, pause, say, I could get away with because it went along with the way I felt mm-hmm. like I could right. do it. Mm-hmm. So I, some people can't. I can't do that with some mm-hmm. people. So. Well, Go, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, I think there's somebody for everybody because the people you may not care for, mm-hmm. there's somebody out there that mm-hmm. likes how they do things. Right, right. Just like I'm sure that. not everybody loves the way that I do news or tell mm-hmm. stories. Mm-hmm. But that's why there are options. But they do but they do like the fresh dress. I had somebody stop me the other day. I told them hey. that Marlisa was going to be on the show. Mm-hmm. And they said, oh, she dresses. Ooh, just Ooh, she dresses. Period. Just a period. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't know anything about that. I, I didn't know it was any different. So. Well, you have you have to to you got to represent first of mm-hmm. all, and that's actually where I'm getting ready to go with that because you mentioned something, Mark, just a moment ago, as far as even having a, a mentor or mentor mm-hmm. uh, ship just in the game of news. So I was going to ask for you: Have you ever had any difficulty with that as being a woman of color? You know, with somebody maybe even telling you you have to do it this way or do that way, or even if they saw you not doing it correctly, they didn't correct you because they wanted you to fail. Mm. Just wondered if you had, you know, encountered anything like that, or was everybody just open to you and, hey, this is how you do. Th- oh, I saw you do that, girl. But you know what? Try it this way, and I think you'll be good. Mm-hmm. I think that there are instances, not just to me, but to a, a lot of people, where some people don't want to see you get ahead. Mm-hmm. For instance, when I first started out in the business. So many people were willing to, oh, like, you're starting to market 164. <laughs> this is, like, <laughs> as low as you can get, okay? So do this, do that, try this, try that. Mm-hmm. And as I started climbing, a lot of people started falling by the wayside. And I'm like, wait a minute, she hasn't called me back? I, I haven't mm-hmm. heard from her? Mm-hmm. What is going on? And while nothing was ever said, I've had other people tell me, well, it could be because now mm-hmm. as you're rising, you're becoming competition. But I don't Uh, see mm -hmm. I'm competitive and Mm -hmm. have a competitive spirit and I'm going to beat you at whatever it is that we're doing. Mm -hmm. However, I don't look at other people and say, I'm not going to help you because whatever is meant for each of us, Mm -hmm. we're going to get it at the end of the day. So I don't need to say, oh, I'm not going to tell her that she could do this Mm -hmm. and be better if she does that. Mm-hmm. It's not about that, but I've had very good mentors, and I have appreciated all of the people who've been in my life. NABJ National Association yes, of Black Journalists has yes, played yes. a huge part, mm-hmm. and in that aspect, with speaking of people of color, I haven't had any issues because it's such a brotherhood and sisterhood that mm-hmm. we're mm-hmm. all looking out for each other. Right. There are groups, the on, groups Facebook on Facebook yeah. Yeah. where, you know, <laughs> hey, there's an yeah. opening at my job yeah. if anybody's right. looking for anything. Yeah. Hey, can right. somebody take a look at my reel and tell me what they would change? Can you give me any constructive criticism? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's been very helpful. And I know, you know, not every profession has the privilege or opportunity to have something like that. They don't. I, and I came from radio. So mm-hmm. we did radio. We did things differently. So yes. I never wanted to be the same way other people were. Right. So so that's why I was different. And so I couldn't look at it through anybody else's lenses mm-hmm, but mm-hmm, mine mm-hmm. because that's the way I liked it. That's the way I wanted to do it. So. Right. But I do understand that point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of that, do you find things difficult for being, because there, there are people out there listening and, pe- and watching mm-hmm. that are, are wondering, women of color, how hard the business is now because the business is changing with everybody, with the phones, with mm-hmm. the social media. Yeah. So so is it harder for women of color? In what aspect? Just getting the job, getting the looks. Because when I was on, when I was in local TV, they didn't really like natural hair. Mm-hmm. Now it people, can wear, people can wear yes. natural hair. Yes. I've, yes. I know some people, and you know some people too, women of color, mm-hmm. who said that management actually went to them and said, 
don't wear your hair curly because it looks mm. too ethnic. Mm-hmm. 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 I've been there for that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what do you tell people, women of color who are coming up now about the business? So I like to think that it's all on what you want to do because like you said, it is more widely accepted mm-hmm. for you to be you. For example, Tegna prides themselves on letting people be them. And things have, I mean, management and corporations have changed so much that now Mm -hmm. people are embracing the natural movement because it's part of who you are. Now, there there have been so many discussions that I've had with people about which way is the right way. Certain people don't rock the natural look because Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I've tried it. It's way more maintenance <laughs> for me. <laughs> is it? It's it is. so it's, much. It's and guess what? You might wake up and do a twist out one morning mm. and it looks flawless. You mm-hmm. try that again in two days. Over with. <laughs> Over with. I, I don't know what that look means. Don't let it be raining outside <laughs> or the wind or Mm-mm. any of that. Mm-mm. I will keep my dress down. <laughs> uh... Or my 27 piece. G- g- rock that 27 piece, girl. <laughs> he had, he learned it about that a little while ago. I was like, I, yeah, I what is a 27 piece? <laughs> Listen, they, Dean, I was the same way. I don't really know. You don't really know what they are? So, oh, I learned, what was it? A bundle was the last thing you told me about. Uh, yeah. I got one of my bundles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Dean. I'm gonna look. show you a 27 piece hey. hairstyle, Dean. Well, see, because I I'm natural, so um, it it it's a little rough mm-hmm. sometimes. Um, I'm natural too, yeah. so when we have to go out to that weather garden yes. and it's raining and they're asking me why I have my umbrella, <laughs> <laughs> cannot get this way. No, it's not gonna you, be because good. half of my head is gonna be yes. looking one way by the time we make it back, back in into the outside. studio. Yes. All right. And I don't have time mm-hmm. to get the emails. Mm-hmm. What's going on? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Natural life. Is that, is that, is, so there's so much maintenance then. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of maintenance. But I keep mine straight or I may wear weaves. Right now I don't have a weave in because I was taking a break during the winter mm-hmm. time because of the humidity in Arkansas. Yes. Well, hey, there's another thing, Dean, you, you need to learn. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm, I'm learning as it go. There's a certain thing called micro links, which I never knew mm-hmm. anything about. Mm-hmm. Well, I pulled up 27 pieces. Pull up 27 pieces. Show us what 27 pieces. Oh, no, my, it just died. I, I should have just told you just to go to my Instagram, right. and I can show died. you a short hairstyle. That's a 27 piece. I'm just died right when piece. I did it. Oh, okay. So it's it hair, showed it for like one second. So <laughs> hair on a on a, on a a track, Dean. Okay. It's so it's it's like comes all, in different I lengths think women and sizes. Are the biggest liars. Excuse me? Uh, wait, I'm sorry, style. what? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Just, Excuse I'm me? just saying, y'all, you know, just this image, you know, like you got these. Like you don't like we think your hair is long and we think you have this look and we think uh, you have and we look. can think you have a beard and also have hair and oh. um you can plant that on yourself too yes. so Stand hello uh-huh. <laughs> and this blackout that y'all are yes, doing to wear you. your With hairline the line. looks on, like the hairline is all on. the way up here when yes. really is back here thank you. <laughs> Or don't you don't start. even have any, and you actually have your weave planted up here and have braids now, so you can have a man <laughs> bun, knowing that you bald. Valid well, points. We can go. I ain't from that. We I'm can not go. with it. I'm just saying, I, under, I, I agree. Since you went there. I'm just saying. I, <laughs> Talking about my It's so much hair and stuff now. <laughs> I, look, sometimes I see women, I'm thinking, man, last week, <laughs> her hair was like this. You know what? This week. So you don't like that you can change it up? Versatility? It's not that I, I mean, because because uh, I'm to me it's a package. Don't don't let him tell you that because no, we had a, a show not too long ago and what he show? was just talking about how the physical and the up here. Yeah, but that's but that's what something was else. what you was know, what guys, he was ready to talking, uh-huh. talking about. Uh-huh. So don't call, call him out. Fool. Call him out. Don't let him fool. No, listen, guys are visual guys, so you know it's all about the yams and the yammage. Well, and that's the point of us so in here because whatever. Yes, the this was the conversation. Stone. Okay, <laughs> but if you like different things, you know I'm. The woman is going to say, well, what kind of woman do you need today? You need a 27-piece? You need long hair? Do you need a blonde? <laughs> do you want me to be a red hair? Because I she can got be it. scarlet for the day. Uh-huh. I got it. See? But I'm just, I got it. I just didn't know. Here's a problem I got with it. It's when I go to the bathroom and y'all be having them heads in there with all the hairstyles on. And then it look like people watching me use the bathroom. So that's the part I really got a problem with. I mean, if you must know. Well, listen, you need to take that up with the mannequins. I'm yeah. just saying, you got uh-huh. all these mannequins in the bathroom. The y'all need heads. to find some other place. You should. It, it should be something, I think, with guys, we see women. like It should be something we see and not necessarily see. You know what I'm mean? saying? So I come you want to it house, to be hidden. Yeah, so then that's be... being fake though, and yeah. then you're gonna have an issue oh, with that already about fake, not being boo. real. It's already fake, boo. 
Listen, when I go to the, <laughs> when I go to your house, if we at your house, you know, I open the closet and I see a bunch of hair Why all over. It, it look like people up in there. <laughs> Why are you in, in your the even in your the bathroom? Questions that need answers. <laughs> in your bathroom. Oh, why your bathroom? You know, you got three or four heads sitting on the counter and they all got different hairstyles. Oh, that's Louise and oh. that's Helen <laughs> and that's Carla. So I'm seeing all these hairstyles. I'm like, you good gosh, girl. I mean, come on, hide it. Let me see you and think, man, she look good today. So, Not let me see you and think. Sure. Man, that was the same wig the other day that I saw a gnat wall flying around, oh, something goodness. like that. You know. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with changing up, and just no. like she's saying, even on you know on air, she knows the type of stories that she has to go and handle and do, and so she also has to think about the aftermath. Mm-hmm. If I go do this, then my hair is gonna look like this. Then I'll be looking crazy and on camera. Right. And so these are just certain things that I have to do when there's certain stories that I have to cover. There's nothing wrong Man, with I that. Man, I got it. I got I it. I don't believe you do. I'm just <laughs> I think you're just saying, you know how men do. No. Okay, I got, I got it. it. Because I'm you're just, tired of going back and forth. No, That's really, what it is. I'm really not, but I'm just telling you, like, I don't get that whole putting all the wigs all over the place. But then, like mm. she said, when it's hidden, mm-hmm. then, oh, I, I didn't even know what type of woman she was. Mm-hmm. I had no idea she had 27 well, you, wigs under the bed. Well, you're well, you going to get that anyway when we start seeing the little things y'all pull off at nighttime. The little, uh, oh, so y'all girders. aren't wearing oh, waist know, trainers so, now? So, 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 so are men not wearing hello, waist trainers? Hello, I was just I was I no. Those tight no tank tops that you put on under your shirt to uh-huh. suck the, up the and suck in. The sauna suits that you get off Amazon? Hello. First of all, why do you know no, that? No, so <laughs> Why do you I love it. I got help that? today. That's sad. Why do you? I don't know no guys that do that, personally. Uh, okay. Well, they know you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I love it. I love it that's, today. That's I love it. <laughs> but. That's that East Coast thing right there. I can't do that. I can't do that. But even with that and with um, the hair, but you're just saying that's more embraced now. Yes. More than anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's more embraced. Now, I think the difficult part uh, that women of color are facing, especially younger people who are still trying to figure themselves out, Mm -hmm. is with this movement, it's almost like natural sisters have made it seem like unless you're doing it that way, you're not real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's... that's Like a competition. Not a competition, Mm -hmm. but... Be who you are, sis. Wear your hair the way it's intended to. But like I said, like, it's a lot yeah. more maintenance. They'll be mad at me because oh. I'm not taking the time to two strand twist my hair. I don't have time for that. It's very who time, time consuming. Who has time to stay up that late and so do all that and so use all that like products? To me. Ain't nobody stuff. two strand in or three strand. <laughs> I'm not finna do it silly. either. I know what you mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what you <laughs> said. Two strand. Yeah, it but is. I it's not two strand twisting. Yes. Okay. Yeah, two strand right, twisting. Teach me. You know what a two strand twist I is. I don't know what a two strand twist is. Almost like and a plait. Listen, and let me tell you Your something. Your sisters else. wore plaits back in the day. I wore plaits <laughs> back in the day. And let me tell you something. You probably had some wigs under the bed, too. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> oh. I don't have wigs under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting next to the sauna suit. I, I don't have wigs under the bed, and I don't know what a sauna suit is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, let's, so let's stop that right there. Okay. <laughs> Just know you are learning who I am, she is. I'm learning. I love it right here I, today I, on I'm the learning. Marked Up Show. I I'm love learning. it. She does not go. Uh-uh. Just in case you know. Uh, so, so <laughs> how much public speaking are you doing now? Are you doing any of that? Social a, media? A lot. So when I first came, there was a lot. And then towards the holidays, I tried to slow down mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. to give myself some time, give myself a break. Because mm-hmm. between work and then, you know, you host events on Saturday, mm-hmm. Sunday, it, it becomes seven day weeks. And it's exhausting sometimes. Mm-hmm. And, and for the people listening, Listen, listen, when you're on television and you're taking your weekend and invest, because I, cause one of the things that people used to kill me with was they asked you to do stuff for, for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to keep in mind, these people work five days a week, just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. And you're asking them to give up their time. And sometimes Away from their family, sometimes, yeah, mm-hmm. sometimes you can do that. But when you get to a point, if I've done two or three events back to back to back to back to back, I, I want to spend some time. But if you really want me to do that, I mean, and make it. Hey, feed me or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't invite me out. I can't eat. I, you know, I got to buy my food before I get there. Mm-hmm. I got to bring my own water. Mm-hmm. And you got the temperature up. Your church is hot. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no air conditioning. There's fans in there. And you want me to sit in there and talk. And everybody, you know. And then you start singing. And you know how I feel about <laughs> church singing, man. You get to singing. And then you want to remix. And then everybody ever 
quit one song. You can't tell when one song ends and the other one begins because all they do is just keep singing. And so I'm hot. I've worked five days this week. I ain't getting paid, and I had to go get me something to eat before I got here. Mm-hmm. Come on now. So I'm just going to ask you just not to take up church events. Right now <laughs> That's what oh, it just sounds there. like. Uh, look, and he has the handkerchief ready to go. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry to do I'm sorry. But the point of that was, but I do understand. I'm gonna help you out on that one. I'm gonna I'm bring it back for you. I, <laughs> when you're when you're looking at, uh, right, but right, taking time away from your family. Like, how long have you been married? Two plus years. Okay, so you still years. have you know time to you know y'all are still in that phase. You still got to get to know each other. You right. Take trips and have fun mm-hmm. and do a lot of things. And so when you're taking time away from your family, it's mm-hmm. like. Hello, people. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. Y'all making me feel like I'm the bad guy for saying that. You well, you didn't exact. Never mind. But okay. (laughs) Okay. No, but but it it can it can be hard and challenging. But I've learned as the years have gone on that it is okay to say no because Mm -hmm. you know five years ago I would say yes to every event Mm -hmm. and come the end of the year I am burnt out. out. Yeah, burnt out. Mm -hmm. So I am a little more selective on what I pick and choose to do. Um, and some things I just have to say no, or, Hey, can't get you this time, but you let me know when the next event and I make sure that I get that one. But I, I just can't work all week. And then, because like you said, you don't get to take, you know, can I get the whole day off because I have to prepare to go to this event? That's not how it works. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you might be emceeing an event during your lunch break Mm -hmm. if it's in the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. And so that just gets very time consuming and draining but I love being out there so it's kind of like a conflict like I I love doing things in the community and I want to be there for you and you're such a nice person Mm -hmm. but at what expense right not worth it Mm -hmm. sometimes Mm -hmm. Uh, all right Marlisa well thanks a lot uh when how often does your mom visit (laughs) I ain't talked to her in a while I I need to she was just here last month actually she came for Christmas and then came back last month to visit Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Still, still working with PG County. Yep. That education system. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. Nice, nice, nice. Well, we enjoyed it. Thank yeah. How can people get in touch with you? Oh, follow media? me on Instagram at Marlisa TV on mm-hmm. Facebook. Make sure you add me on Facebook. It is Marlisa Goldsmith TV. And y'all, Marlisa has one S. Just one. Mm. Just one. There you go. If you look for Marlisa, you're, you're not going <laughs> to find me. Might be somebody in a, a, a abs on a. <laughs> See, I'm gonna do some research on a sauna suit. I can't believe you don't know it's like a what trash that bag. is. Yeah, is that what they call? Think of it's like, it's like it's you see them at the gym. They, the I've never seen anybody at the gym. It's like oh, they, they oh, do it in this trash yeah. bag to like you haven't make seen you the, uh, the sweat. modern one now. The modern one is fitted like a tank top, uh-huh. so you hide it under, under your that's little That's what get-up. I was saying. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it kind of helps you out. Well, there, the cheap people would like literally wear trash bags. It would make them sweat. So you remember that Martin Lawrence incident back in the day? See, I can't. I can't do all that. Make sure you guys follow her. I'm gonna be following because I need to see some of these recipes yes i need to post the recipes no (laughs) and here's the issue with the recipes because you know how it is in the kitchen Mm -hmm. growing up so so you don't weigh you don't weigh your food out is that what you're telling me no i don't use measurements Uh taste and try look look Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) eyeball it A little dollop. See, that's y'all's <laughs> One problem. handful. Yep. That, mm-hmm. That's Sprinkle your problem here. right there. Y'all eyeballing instead of putting the exact thing. Because because people out there who don't know what to cook, we don't know what we eyeballing. So you measure with your heart. Ooh. Ah. Man. Hello. Because it's all that love that goes yeah. into yeah. it. Come on. As we get out of here. He's learning today. He's learning today. I appreciate you coming by. Thanks yes, thank you so much for having me. Oh, and on Twitter. Yeah, what is it on Twitter? Yeah, because that's, that's why I talk to you a lot. It's... What is my Twitter? See, you don't even know. <laughs> Just, what is my Twitter? You I think it's even... at Marlisa Reports. I, I, ah, hope, okay. I hope you're right. Uh, but we'll have it. Co- we'll have it up on, of course. Yeah, uh, I'll we'll put have it up. It, yeah. I'll <laughs> put the link so everybody know because <laughs> clearly Marlisa don't know how to get in it touch. It might with. be Marlisa. She said, I she, clearly, she myself. doesn't know how to get in touch. I know. With we're herself. both look. I'm looking. Mark is looking. I, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it later. But okay, clearly okay. that way I can follow know. later. Just well, see, when you had post. a Twitter account for 25 years. Well, yeah. I have. I still know my Twitter name, Mark Edwards, 1906. Oh, okay. oh wow. Still know my so we're just going to call me out. Ah. All right. <laughs> we will call you out. It's at my... Marlisa TV. There we go. Confirmed right. it. At Marlisa TV. All right. Follow me, add me. I got it. I found you. Appreciate and it. 
follow. Thanks a lot. Yay. Dean, we'll be around. We'll see you around. Season two of the Marked Up Show.